Hello and welcome to EV Car Share. So, what I want to show you today, again, as a lot of my videos have been on the car infotainment system, is how to, or not really how to, because it's quite obvious, but using car scanner and viewing the information on the car's display rather than on your phone. So this is um, something that was became available earlier this year. So it's, it's been around a while, been around a few months. I've been using it. Um, I'm guessing a lot of other people have been using it. And there's probably some videos out there already. This is my video. Obviously this makes it specific to the Kia EV6 rather than other cars. Um, and I just wanted to take you through it. I thought it might be useful to you. So I have my secondary camera and I will turn that on and I'll show you what I mean. So for those who don't know about Car Scanner, um, what, it, what it is is an app on your phone. You can see here I'm displaying it at the moment. This particular screen on Car Scanner is showing me my state of charge, my remaining energy, some temperatures from my battery, the speed I'm doing, distance I've traveled, my outside temperature, and the power that my battery is outputting at this time. Um, there are other useful pieces of information. So if I swipe to the side here, you can see I can also bring in the state of health of my battery. This is 99.1%. Um, the state of charge of my 12 volt battery. So my auxiliary battery is 91%. And I've got some things here about the amount of energy charged and discharged into my car, um, well, into and out of my car uh, during its lifetime. It pulls all of this information from the OBD connection, so you need to have a, a dongle to allow you to do that. And that's down here by the driver's knee, certainly in the right-hand drive car. And so I have this dongle here, and you can see these little LED lights are flashing uh, because it's connected and receiving power and sending data. So that's the three different lights. It runs via Bluetooth to my phone. So for quite some time, it's been available, something you can use, um, but you've always had to have the display um, outputted to your phone, which means you either need a phone holder. I have this magnetic one here that I use that's attached to the center plinth in the car. Um, other people will have one attached to the windscreen so they can have the view, the display up higher, which is fine, um, but equally, it's nice to have this display and it would be nice to have this information on this display and you can so to start with you couldn't um, and then they brought it in that you can so presumably the guys who write car scanner decided to write in um, some compatibility with carplay I'm assuming they've done the same with Android Auto. It would be strange not to, um, but they do it with CarPlay. So over on CarPlay, if you go to CarPlay, you will automatically pull in all of the apps that are compatible that you have on your phone. So if you have CarScanner on your phone as an app, then it will appear here. There's nothing more that you need to do. You just need to find it. So if you move across, you can see here, I have Car Scanner. So apps on my phone that are compatible with CarPlay, there's some settings, phone messages, the now playing bit, return back to Kia. Um, BBC Sounds, I listen to some podcasts. Electroverse is charging. Google Maps is navigation. WhatsApp, messaging, everyone knows that. Spotify is music, obviously. Fastnet, ZapNap. Zap map are both charging apps, home assistant. I haven't really used that, but I use in CarPlay, but I use that at home. That controls a lot of my home automation. Um, a better route planner, that's another planner, um, sat nav sort of thing. Just park for parking, ways, another sat nav option. Shall we charge? I never use, but I've got it. That's uh, another charging one. Here's car scanner, that's the one we're looking for and Ringo is a parking app. So click on Car Scanner, it'll take you through. Um, I am already connected, so that's why you're seeing here it's already connected and I have disconnect as the button. If you are not connected, then the connect will be a will be connect button in green rather than disconnect in red. Just tap that and you can connect. 
If you prefer, you can connect at the phone instead. Uh, you can use the phone app and do your connections instead. Once you are connected, then the things that you see on the screen like this, the displays that show you all your fields of numbers and the readbacks, those are referred to as dashboards. So each one of these views is a dashboard. If we go back up here, you can see at the top, we have an icon for dashboard and we can click on dashboard. Then you get a list of all of your dashboards. <clears throat> now, if like me, you began with car scanner and you didn't change anything, you just used the default displays, then you'll probably have displays um, like if I scroll to the right here, like this where you have a lot of fields all on the one screen so this is three by five so this is 15 fields on this screen now that's fine on the phone but when you come to displaying on carplay you'll see that that dashboard down there which is the general driving dashboard or what i've called general driving up here it displays as two different dashboards you've got one of two and two of two because that 15 item dashboard cannot be displayed on the car play screen all in one list so if i go to general driving one of two you can see i can scroll but it will only give me the first about 10 i think it is fields so what we've got here six seven eight nine ten yeah so it'll show me just the first ten fields so it'll give me the title of the field and the value being output if I want to see the other five then I have to go to the two of two and this now shows me those other five items that are on that dashboard so you can use it with the default dashboards but you can also make it a little bit better by minimizing the amount of items that you show on the, the dashboard on your phone so if we go back down to my phone you can see here i have limited myself on my main screen just to eight items um, on my next screen i think i've got 10 next screen i've got 10 again these aren't fully optimized i might go back and change some of these i'm thinking of probably having them all as eight field items rather than 10 or at least most of them anyway up on the main screen what that looks like is when i go to my main dashboard which is the one for the eight you can see i have six here plus two extra just below so it's quite easy to see the ones you want to see all at the same time and just scroll very slightly a little flick just to gain an extra two um, without losing the others so if you were to minimize the dashboard down to six you would see them all on screen at the same time if you minimize them down to eight or ten then you can get them all on the same display you just have to flick in order to go between them so that's that's really the options what you won't be able to see is any dashboard that is a chart or a graph or a needle display so on the car scanner view on your phone if I scroll across a few displays eventually I will come to some graphical displays and some like this which are bar charts so that's all the temperatures of the modules in the battery if I take a look at that on the Apple CarPlay and go to the battery module temperature histogram which I think is that one I've just shown you you will see it comes up just with a, an error, not an error, but a message saying not selected. It can't show that. If I go to the battery charts, it, this time it does show values. So that's the equivalent of these charts here, but it doesn't show you the chart. You can see it's a very different view. There you're getting just the, the current value, whereas down here you're getting a graphical representation showing that value for the last few minutes or a few seconds, I'm not sure, maybe maybe seconds, half a minute or so. Um, so you can see there are, there are things that work well and things that don't work well um, displaying through the CarPlay interface. My main dashboard works really nicely. Um, it's quite nice to have that. I can happily drive along with that and know exactly what my temperatures of my battery are, exactly what my remaining energy is. Um, these are things that for someone a bit geeky like me, um, these are quite interesting. Um, they're not 
a definite requirement to see when you're driving an electric car. This isn't something you have to do or have to look at or have to be interested in. It's just something that I find interesting myself. And probably if you're watching my videos, then it's probably something you find interesting as well, um, which is why you're watching, I guess. So I wanted to bring that to you and, and show you that information. Um, the other thing that you can pull up on the car scanner um, CarPlay is the acceleration tests. Now I haven't tried these yet, I'm going to, um, but you can see these are all there. What you do is you pull out um, onto a straight, flat, quiet section of road and you come to a stop and then you floor it and it will automatically fill in these acceleration times as you make those acceleration points um, 20 mile an hour, 40 mile an hour, 60 mile an hour and if your legal limit allows of your country then 80 and 100 mile an hour too um, if not then obviously only scroll to there when you're showing people your results um, and then if you want to reset your results to try again you have a reset results down here just tap that and it will zero the whole lot so that's quite useful as well. Um, nice to have that on screen rather than on the app instead. So that really is it. Um, that's all I wanted to show you. As usual, thank you for watching. Like the video, subscribe if you, if you like my channel. And of course, give me your comments if you have comments. If it works differently in your car or something like that, then please let me know. Um, and until next time, thank you for watching.